Welcome to our video on basic permutations. Permutations can tell you how many possible groupings there can be for a certain number of elements in which the order of the elements matters and there is no repetition of elements. So take the three letters M, N, and O. If we wanted to find out how many different ways we could combine them, we could take three permutations of three. Let's count them. We could make mno, mun, nom, nemo, amun, or anum. That's six ways. So three permutations of three is equal to six. Whenever we're finding how many ways an entire group of elements can be ordered, like in the last example or in any x permutations of x situation, it's the same thing as x factorial. Notice that three factorial or 3 times 2 times 1 is also equal to 6. The same as 3 permutations of 3 equaled 6 in our last example. If you're confused about factorials, you can watch my other segment on them. Much of the time, though, we want to find how many smaller groups can be made from a larger group. Like if only 3 frogs can fit on a log at one time, but there are 10 multicolored frogs that all want to be on the log. You guys can pretend these are frogs, come on. How many different orders of three frogs can be on the log at once? This equation can be represented with 10 permutations of 3. In this case, there are 10 possible frogs who could be in the first position multiplied by 9 frogs who could be in the second position because 1 is already in the first multiplied by 8 possible frogs in the third position. This equation can also be represented as 10 factorial divided by 7 factorial because 7 factorial is no longer part of this equation. For generalization purposes, notice that this equation is also equal to 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial. And that brings us to a formula that can get you the answer to any factorial problem in this form. If we want to find m permutations of n, then we can represent it as m factorial divided by m minus n factorial. Very simple. We'll go over different kinds of permutation problems in the next video.